This group of university students has successfully recreated the scene from Squid Game, a popular drama series, into a computer application. It's part of a 24-hour coding challenge at UBC. We're excited to have a lot of different cat prize categories that encourage hackers to also think about solving those problems with their skills and technologies. This duo has come up with an app they hope will help solve their housing problem, connecting students with people who are looking to sublet their place. Students have an incredibly difficult time finding housing in such a competitive and expensive housing market. So what we did is to create a solution that solves not only our problems, but the problems of our friends and our community. Or what about a program that reads your facial expressions? It's a developer productivity app that helps uh, developers know when they should take breaks or like when they're in the flow state. They do that based off your facial expressions. These are just some of the ideas being put into action at UBC's 10th annual hackathon. This event, organizers say, promotes creativity, collaboration, and community. A hackathon is like an invention marathon. You get hundreds of people together with a wide variety of skill sets, and they come up with crazy ideas, and they put together a prototype over a very short period of time, typically a weekend, where they can demo for expert judges and win prizes. We are the largest hackathon in Western Canada. Right now, we have over 800 attendees at our event, including over 730 hackers, volunteers, mentors, organizers, and sponsors. Nguyen says some of the projects presented at previous UBC hackathons have made it big in the outside world. One of our startup sponsors is Reworked AI, and they were a hackathon project at NW Hacks 2023, and they've raised over, I think, I believe a billion dollars in funding as a successful startup now. This is an extremely high quality event, and uh, honestly, it brings out the best and brightest in the region. A fun event that helps young hackers network and build their resume while developing innovative ideas for the future. Sohrab Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.